With over 12,000 employees, one can never stop innovating. We've known Kakira as a Madhavani company, but to our people, Kakira is their company. From the ideas to the engineers who have turned cane into a sustainable treasure, Kakira is a national asset of social economic impact. When we installed a sugar mill at Kakira in 1930, not even the founders could tell that a tall grass would become a backbone of the entire economy. By 1970, the Madhavani Group was contributing a record 10% to Uganda's GDP. Not a single company has matched that record since independence. But in 1972, this giant would be challenged. Despite international criticism, the president of the time, Idi Amin, expelled the Asians from Uganda. Among them, the founders of Kikira, the Madhavanis. It was a wrong move. It was extremely wrong move. By 1984, a $15 million company collapsed at the hands of the government's poor management. I found that period of 10 years plus was a real waste in my life. The whole nation suffered. Idi Amin was later overthrown. The Madhavanis returned to rebuild Kakira. By 1990, operations resumed. From the inspiring beginning of the founder, Moljibai Madhavani, to the astute leadership of his sons, Jayantabai and Manubai, Kakira is a testimony of resilience. I think looking forward, you will probably see, and for the next generation, Kakira will be a national industry. Kakira is strategic and consistent. From our highly motivated staff to our top of the range technology, we do not take chances on quality. Kakira is an inspiration as Uganda's largest sole investor in agricultural production. We have tried to inculcate an uh, environment of trust. That means it, we, when we say that this will happen and we promise to do this, it will happen. And people know that, okay, if Kakira management says this, it will happen. That is very important to people, particularly in uncertain times. Kakira is leading in technology. Our sugar mill installed in 2022 is the first of its kind in Africa, significantly low on energy use and emissions. It crushes over 8,500 tons of cane per day, the equivalent of 850 trucks of cane in 24 hours. The new mill um, has enabled us to get 95% extraction from a previous 91% extraction, so an extra 4% of sugar we can remove from the cane. When we extract juice from cane to make sugar, we stay with a fibrous material called bagasse. By the turn of the century, bagasse was waste. At Kakira today, bagasse is a treasure. We use it to produce over 51 megawatts of electricity. That powers the factory and the entire estate we supply over 31 megawatts to the national grid. Without heavy industries, it is enough to light Kampala. There is more to this tall grass. In manufacturing sugar, we also get another byproduct called molasses. At this $36 million facility, molasses has turned into another source of energy. We produce over 22 million liters of extra-neutral alcohol annually. We sell it to some of the largest international blenders. If blended with petrol, this ethanol, also known as ENA, can run cars. You can blend up to 15% with petrol without any en engine modification. Our latest addition is this world-class bottling facility to make premium vodkas, gins, gold and silver rums from cane-based alcohol. Inside this special room is a marvel in the making, and in every barrel is age and character. 
Our elite products have beaten some of the respected brands at blind testing events in the U.S. and Europe. We have carefully handpicked our staff from the world's best bottling backgrounds. Kakira is already excelling on the local market as the Wild Crane brand. We are now exporting Africa's rich heritage to the world, taking the international market by storm. We keep diversifying at Kakira, and eventually, of course, sugar will become just one of the products. Kakira is a people company. No one can ever take that from us. Through benefits, we have ensured that our people earn dividends before even the shareholders. Imagine 12,000 employees all getting free housing, all using free water, free electricity, and free education for their children. So when people apply for a job to us, they know it's not applying just for a salary. It is applying for this whole uh, ecosystem. And, and that's one of the keys to our success. ENT specialist Joe Tabu studied free at one of our schools on the estate. If it wasn't Kakira, I wouldn't have attained the access to the books that enabled me to read and excel. Some of our managers have studied at our schools right from childhood. They are now running a business that raised them. My father worked as uh, the chief accountant and my mother worked as the cost accountant. Here I am working in Kakira and serving as the human resource manager. And to our independent farmers, we are more than grateful to them. We call them outgrowers. They grow cane on their own land and supply the factory. As long as you have registered with Kakira Sugar Works and they know that your sugar cane is there and they have it in the system, they will always buy. When Sharon Namaswe was due on March 12, 2017, she was brought to deliver at our hospital where services are free to all. Five years later and the girl is the reason for her big smile. From supporting orphanages to special children, Kakira remains on top of corporate social responsibility, serving communities, saving and improving life. As the biggest sole investor in the region, Kakira enjoys a good relationship with Busoga. Our bond with the kingdom is only growing stronger. They have been in Busoga for a very long time, and they're actually Busoga. Therefore, they wish to help the kingdom in terms of boosting its economic glory. Through the Kakira Outgrowers Rural Development Fund, CORD, every year we spend over $2 million on social goods for communities like healthcare, roads, and poverty eradication projects. While the Kakira Sugar Busoga Foundation skills the youth at the vocational level, the Mojibai Manavani Foundation offers university scholarships worth over $200,000 annually. When the old man uh, Mojibai started this company, he always used to tell everybody that his main assets, his principal assets are his uh, people. It's part and parcel of the company's DNA. We are now expanding. Our new estate in Kayonga has widened Kakira's coverage to a total of 16,000 hectares of cane plantations. Here, we have created more than 3,000 jobs. We have also introduced cutting-edge technology like solar irrigation. At Kayonga, we'll install one of Africa's largest pivot irrigation schemes. We now want to duplicate this success with our upcoming estate in Amuru. Kakira is creating over 4,000 jobs for the people in Acholi. Kakira is initially investing over $140 million, the government as the majority shareholder. Amuru will focus on refined sugar and other sugar byproducts like ethanol and renewable energy. 
It also targets the export market of South Sudan and DRC. Uganda will earn at least $90 million of foreign exchange annually. It would be a good idea for um, everyone to look at it from the point of view of uh, one of the most successful projects in the country. As we grow more cane, we are mitigating climate change. Our 16,000 hectares of cane absorbs up to half a million tons of CO2 from the atmosphere. We are planting trees all over our estates. We are one of the few companies in Africa that have achieved total carbon neutrality. Imagine decades of climate responsibility where our work is purely eco-friendly. If companies took our renewable approach of caring for the environment, we would easily reverse the global warming trend and save our one planet. Kakira is innovating more. From sugar to energy to bottling and much more, we want to make the most from this tall grass than just sweetness. We remain committed to the environment and to our people, knowing that growth at Kakira is growth for Uganda's economy. <laughs>